Hey guys, Ifto here, and today I'm back with another Minecraft video. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the latest Minecraft 1.17 snapshot, 21W06A, which is the first snapshot to bring us the cave update we've really been eagerly waiting for. By showing us, for the first time, how things are going to look underground in 1.17. Not only does the snapshot introduce us to these huge new caves, it also adds some new cave variants, such as underwater caves. Later in the video, we'll also take a look at the new ways mine shafts spawn in these new larger cave systems. The first thing you can't fail to miss when you load up this snapshot is, of course, the humongous caves, the likes of which we've never seen before in vanilla Minecraft. They really are jaw droppingly huge, it really is a scale we've not played on before. When you're mining in these caves, you really do feel rather small. It is easier than ever, then, to get lost in these big caves, so make sure to use plenty of torches when mining to keep track of where you've explored. As well as these large caves, there are also some incredibly deep caves, which quite literally plummet into the depths. In order to create these exceptionally deep caves, the world height has been increased. The world has been extended 64 blocks up, and 64 blocks down, meaning that, for now at least, it is possible to build between Y-64 and Y-319 in the overworld. I have no doubt, however, that these numbers will be adjusted in later snapshots, and the world will instead be measured from Y-0 to Y-384. With these changes in place, you can, for the moment at least, find diamonds above Y-16 for the first time ever as well as below Y0. No doubt this will be changed, but whether they will go back to spawning only below Y16, or whether, on account of the larger world, they will spawn higher than this in 1.17, isn't clear yet. Another new cave type you can find in the update is the underwater cave. These are, as you might expect, large caves which are completely filled with water. Note that these occur not just in ocean biomes, but all over. No doubt the introduction of these caves will make water breathing potions a far more appealing option, which I feel is a good thing, as they were a rather underused potion before this. I do hope, however, that they do add something different to the underwater caves that makes them worth mining in, as opposed to regular caves, else people will just avoid them entirely. One of the best changes the update brings is the change it makes to mine shafts which now look a lot more realistic. They're now supported by large wooden pillars, allowing them to spawn even in the largest of caves. I personally like this aesthetic change, and it really does provide some added danger when you're exploring these mine shafts, as one wrong step, and you'll find yourself falling to a painful death. Another generative structure that now looks a lot more at home is the amethyst geodes, which when part of these larger caves, look far less out of place than they had done in previous updates. One last thing to note is that all previous cave systems are still here. They have not been replaced, only added to. I really think this is a good move by Mojang, as it should mean the new cave update doesn't alienate older fans, who have always enjoyed Minecraft's classic caves. No doubt there will be more updates to Minecraft cave systems before 1.17's full release. So if you'd like to keep up to date, with all the new additions, such as Lush Caves, and the full introduction of the Axolotl mob, then do consider subscribing for new Minecraft videos every Saturday, and thanks for watching.